Hey guys, it's Matt Hoots with Sawhorse in Radic Green, and I'm at the Sharp booth. Now we met Peter, what, a couple years ago? Uh, we talked a little bit about appliances, a lot about music, and they've got some amazing products. We were gonna talk about their microwave, their induction cooktops, all the things to go all electric, go green. All right, Peter, so we've got the induction cooktop here. I know there's been lots of tweets, lots of things in the news, and um, my frustration with the news is they keep on comparing gas to electric where they need to be talking about induction because that's where the efficiency comes in. Yeah, so that's a, that's a really great point. And I, before I tell you about what we're doing here, it's all about creativity. You know, Matt mentioned about music and about content, that Matt does such a great job on content, but that's what it's all about. We publish content. Content that we publish are products. Those products is like a publishing business, right? We publish a product. We say, would you like the product? It's like looking at content. And then if we get your emotional capital and it's relevant to you and it's the right price point, the right things for your home, it's great. We call that sharp, simply better living. So cosmetics are important to us. Design is important, usability, and Mother Earth. That's why it's simply better living. What are we doing to help better living on Mother Earth? So yes, induction and electric is very, very important to us. You know, we're not, we're not against gas. It's not our pleasant position in the world to do that. But we do believe that induction and radiant cooking does allow you to not have carbon monoxide, noxious gases going through your home. And it's probably a lot safer overall because if you don't turn your hood on to get your uh, air going out and your makeup air being done, you might have a problem that you are actually pulling it into your fornix, your larynx, your respiratory system. It's much cleaner and much safer, I believe with induction and electric. I just happen to be a fan. That's a personal message from Peter Wheatfall. I think Sharp thinks the same, but that's how I feel. So, so here at the show, can I show you something, Matt, that's pretty exciting? Absolutely. So if you swing around over here, we're excited because KBiz has recognized us as a KBiz finalist for this product. This product is called the Sharp Microwave Drawer Radiant Cooktop Combo. In about six months from now, Matt, this will be induction instead of electric but today it's electric, not gas. And basically what we have is a built-in microwave drawer, which you can articulate three ways. This is Alexa enabled. So you can actually talk to the drawer and say, Alexa, open the drawer. It has sensor cooking. So you can say, Alexa, cook these four potatoes and it'll send the algorithm down to it or cook a chicken. So if you think about it, you can articulate it in many ways, but this control panel is two control panels in one. So part of being economic to Mother Earth is consolidation of space. When you put the radiant cooktop here with two controls in one panel, that means that you're spending less time and less energy with two different devices. This one you use, this panel, to open up the drawer, to change your settings, your popcorn, what kind of products, sensor cooking, cook it warmer, warm up some coffee. And these knobs right here control these five stations for radiant cooking. One of the things that, because we're called Sharp Simply Better Living, Matt, we needed to come up with some ideas for real time. This is has magnetics on here, right here, slips right in. This is for your pots when they get hot and you want to take them off the stove. And this side over here are for your spatulas. And by the way, it's very simple to throw these in the dishwasher, easy to clean, and makes your whole kitchen a lot cleaner and a lot neater. So again, we call it Sharp Simply Better Living. Thank you, KBiz, for having us be a finalist. And Matt, thank you for taking the time to take a look at this product. Yeah, so one question that I get from a lot of people, like what is the difference between, like you mentioned the radiant heating, which is the infrared versus induction. Again, both of them have that clean surface where you can wipe it down. Uh, unlike like the gas, sometimes you have to worry about residue getting on the grills. but explain some of the base technology for both of those and, and like the, the pros and cons of each of those. Sure, so the induction is a very, very wonderful technology. Um, it's a fast cooking technology. I mean, literally you can heat up um, a boil up water within a minute versus gas, which might take you two or three minutes versus radiant, which might take you two minutes. Uh, also radiant, uh, excuse me, induction is very safe. You can actually put your hand on the um, on this uh, surface, if this was induction, as long as your hand's not made out of metal. So the only way that it conducts itself is by the metal that goes actually onto the induction. And so, I, is, and I believe there's a tax credit as well. Have you heard about that? Yes, and 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 the government. In fact, there was an article today, I believe, on Fox News, where 
the president has announced that he's going to start putting together tax benefits around going with induction or radiant and moving away from gas. So I think it's choice, not chance. People have asked me why radiant versus induction. To be frank with you, the two prices are collapsing very quickly. Uh, it used to be induction was at this price and radiant cooking is at this price, but we're seeing that they're coming very close together. And once that happens, choice not chance really before was on price points and some of the benefits between the two. Once they collapse, induction will be the clear winner. The conundrum is America needs to better understand, and I applaud Matt for driving this agenda. In the United States, only five to six percent of America is using induction today. Um, you know, and, and, and so it's radiant right now and gas in most of the parts of the world. When we all start to better learn about induction, I assure you that everyone in America will be cooking with induction, much better experience, much quicker experience, much safer experience, and by the way, much more efficient. And that's the point I forgot to say that Matt kind of gave me the, the opportunity to talk about. The induction's a very, very efficient cooking. I'll tell you why. You're getting nearly 90%, almost 100% um, cooking heat into your pot, into your pan, versus gas, where gas is about 45 to 50% of that gas, that flame coming up, is gonna go ahead and cook your food while the rest is gonna dissipate the gas out into the home. So we're gonna see much more induction, I'm sure. And you brought up a good point earlier, like all this technology is great, but unless you ventilate properly, even with electric, even with induction, there, you do have a lot of micro particulates that come off the pots, the pans, cooking. I heard somebody say yesterday that Brussels spouts is like the number one <laughs> yes. contributor to bad indoor air quality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does smell, but I, I didn't really know that fact, but you've got to ventilate and you guys have ventilation systems as well. Yeah, we have uh, three sizes of ventilation. We have a, um, a, a, 30, a 36, a 30, and a uh, 24. And um, the good news about that ventilation is that people don't really understand it. The good news is we have an opportunity to help them with it, but the ventilation has kind of got two things going on. One is blowing out the gases or blowing out smoke, right? I say gases for gas or smoke that comes out from induction radiant, but the other one is called the makeup air. So it's not just good enough to blow out the gases, you need to bring makeup air back in because when you're blowing out air, you're blowing out oxygen and that oxygen needs to come back in. Sadly, and I believe at least my mother did this for many, many years, she cooked with gas and never, ever, ever turned on her exhaust. It just wasn't something she would even think about. I'll be honest with you, most people don't use the exhaust properly, and the number one reason is because of sound. Sound. So, so yeah. I believe that you guys have the more efficient systems, the motors are quieter, so when you turn it on, the overall experience is there. Okay, well, I appreciate it, Peter. Thanks for the information. Thank you. Good to see you, Matt. Appreciate the time always. Thanks for watching this video, and I want to thank all of the vendors that I've been interviewing at the International Motor Show and also KBIS for providing this amazing information. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we're going to create more content just like this, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get more information. Now, if you guys have specific questions on any of these products, what you should do is like leave a comment in the section below, and I'll take it back to the manufacturer, and ask that question, and get a response from you, and probably create a video response just for that. So appreciate all the people that have subscribed and supported us throughout the years, and and manufacturers as well. So thanks again and see you guys next time.